Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again here on Euridia on Air Show. Thank you for being here and remember to subscribe and share it to all your friends. I want to uh, introduce you to my new friends over here. Well, you already know Alejandra. <laughs> Hello, welcome Alejandra. Thank you. Uh, but I think you're the, this is the first time you're in Euridia on Air. So yes. we are on Entre Amigas. So I'm going to send uh, the invitation for Entre Amigas for more people to join because it's only women. Mm -hmm. But um, this month that we're celebrating women, mm -hmm. I invited you guys because you guys are doing wonderful things in the community. Mm -hmm. But specifically, I want to make the announcement for the Latino economic development that you guys are in. Mm -hmm. And I want you guys to tell everybody who you are mm -hmm. and then what is this program, okay? Yeah. Absolutely. So I can I can kick it off. So um, my name is Anayeli Martinez Real, and I'm on the learning community. Um, or I'm, I'm gonna let me say that again. Yeah. Sorry, I was gonna start representing the wrong thing. I'm sorry. Um, um, my name is Anayeli Martinez Real, and I'm on the Latino Economic Development Council, mm -hmm. and I'm on the board. Um, and really, the LEDC was formed um, last year, in the last year or so, and it was specifically to draw more. Um, attention to all the needs that are that exist in South Omaha. And so there'll be a lot of different things that are um, developed through the council and it's going to be youth development, career development, workforce development. And then right now we're currently taking on a $94 million project oh. that will really revitalize South Omaha with a new pla the Plaza de la Raza, instead of it just being a parking lot, it'll be oh. a plaza where there can be concerts um, and different events like throughout the year. Park, like a little park like with the kiosco. Like a um, real plaza. Like a real <laughs> plaza. <laughs> like a <laughs> real <laughs> one. <laughs> and that'll be really exciting. And also a culture building where folks can come together and you can display your art. You can have different community events. Because sometimes when we're going to have events in South Omaha, it's really tough to get a space so there'll be a culture building there'll be a parking garage i mean parking is such a difficult thing yeah, that we have cool. in south omaha especially when there's events so there'll be a parking garage um and then also one that will be a mixed use housing with some retail and also some residential um on the that's upper what we floors need. that's what we need because we already gathered there right mm -hmm. but it's hard so it's it's something that it's been missing mm -hmm. so tell us how did this um what is this like uh is this a non-profit or how did it start it or yeah so it is a non-profit it's a 501c3 um and it was really started um by the brains of uh, marcos mora itzel lopez um okay. and armando and they started this um just because they knew that in order to typically there wasn't funding going to south omaha there was lost opportunities on hey let's fill out a grant let's fill out arpa fund and until a 501c3 is formed mm -hmm. usually you can't receive funding mm -hmm. and so they i would say you know they were the founders that really wanted to kind of put this together because you have to have a voice and you have to in order to be a voice of the community and receive funding you have to have an organization yeah and so they said in all of the people that are on the board and steering committee like alejandra um, we're all volunteers, so there is no... So this is all volunteers. This is all volunteers. We don't have any staff. I mean, some nonprofits obviously have an executive director and staff to support them. Mm -hmm. Everything that we're doing is completely as volunteers. We all have full-time jobs and, and do this because we truly believe in it. And in order to make it happen, you have to come together. And so yes. uh, this really started in in one year one in year. one year yeah it's making all this noise it's, it's incredible <laughs> noise action action so what is it how, how is this process is it a bill and then you guys um submit the bill then the vote how does it for people that are new mm -hmm. in this country that they don't have an idea how to do how this process work can you guide us what what is that yeah absolutely so Last year was LB 1024 that was introduced, and mm -hmm. that bill was introduced to allow a little over $300 million to go specifically to COVID-affected areas, which in urban mm -hmm. areas was North Omaha and South Omaha that were extremely affected during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so that bill was um, introduced and passed last year. Okay. And so with LB 1024, um, what the senators did is in order to have an equitable process they said we're going to hire a consultant so they went through an rfp process to hire a consultant 
they ended up selecting Olson, um, which is an engineering firm here in Omaha, who's yeah. very well connected with the community. And they had a series of workshops. They had one at South High. They had one at Metro Community College South Omaha. North uh, Omaha. No, they had one at North Omaha. And so they had several community events to try to get voices of the community. And this is actually the first time it's ever been done where the community was the one that was voicing what type of projects were needed within instead the community of instead of other folks doing it, right? And that, that has never good. happened. Yeah. I was part of that, the Metro uh, Community College. Um, so I spoke at that and it was just really empowering to be able to be given that space to for them to hear us out and why we want this bill to be passed. So mm -hmm. I thought it was really powerful for them to do that. So, yeah. Yeah, no the question, like, how did you hear about the bill or how to distribute? Because many times people from the community, they're working full time. They're, they don't know. They're, we're trusting the government. We just pay our taxes and we're trusting mm -hmm. the government to do this. But we do need organizations like this mm -hmm. to get involved and to pass the voice so more people are aware, okay, this is what we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. And we miss, we need your support. Oh, completely. Right? Yeah. I mean, I think there was, they did a really good job that when the bill was passed, there was a lot of just media trying to get the word out, trying to get local leaders mm -hmm. in these spaces. And so... I think that's how the word was out. I mean, there was you there was on the website, there was announcements being made about the different events. And I think usually when you reach out to the local South Omaha, North Omaha leaders, they have their own networks, right? Yes. So like for us it's Eat Said Lopez. Before, yeah. before Facebook, right? And all <laughs> yeah. this yeah. you can sell Lopez. Yeah, for us. She connects everybody. And so she you know, once they got her on the list, it's like she was able to get spread the word and She's the one that assures that all of us are attending mm -hmm. things like this to get awareness or um, they were out in the Capitol all of um, last week, you know, last week, was it this, this week? week? This, I think week. this week, actually, this, one put this together. She put this <laughs> together. <laughs> so uh, we, we tell her she'll be uh, our mayor one day here. But um, yeah, she's absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. And well, she's already doing the work of a mayor for us. She is. So, she's, yeah, she's, she's our phenomenal. mayor. <laughs> yeah. And so, so she's the one that really, and I think it was smart for them to say, let's reach out to the local leaders because they already have their networks, right? And so yes. then they're able to kind of spread the word instead of just posting it in specific media. So I, I think they did a really good job of making sure that the right folks were there and involved throughout okay. the process. And now this go round, the funding has been approved, but now it's a matter of which projects are going to get the funding. Olson made a recommendation. Their recommendation was about $100 million to go to South Omaha, which was such good That's news amazing. for yeah. Um, so all of us. It will, or is there so that was like, the recommend. So yeah. that was the recommendation, okay. and now there's a new bill being introduced to now actually say these are the projects that are going to get the funding. Mm -hmm. uh, so that'll okay. be the bill that's introduced now, and then um, hopefully by the summer we'll know um, which Where projects will be. So getting what are you guys are doing? So once that is approved, what is what is your input, or how do you? going to so if they give the funding yeah. so right now um for our specific project for ledc um we have the adelante project which is includes okay. the plaza and the projects i had mentioned and olson had recommended that we get 20 million dollars and so if that's a little over 20 million dollars if that does happen with the bill that's currently being introduced mm -hmm. um we already have um rdg who is a designer who's helping us so we would get the plans moving forward and then we'd really want to get construction started here at the end of the year or yeah. um, or early next year so yeah so it's i mean we're already i think the message that we definitely want to relay is that all of the organizations that went to get the funding and to try to mm -hmm. apply because it was a very tough process to go through there was a lot of questions to answer and a lot of information to kind of put together in a very short period um and we're ready i mean we've brought everybody together um, partnering with Canopy South and other organizations to to be ready to accept the funding and get the project off the ground. Mm -hmm. Wow. I think it's a beautiful thing that Itzel did connect all of us mm -hmm. Latino leaders to mm -hmm. to be able to execute the project. Um, you know, I, th I feel that everybody contributed just a little bit and I mean, there's nothing like working in unity, right? For yes, such like a to, big project. You put it together uh, instead of one person mm -hmm. trying to do it all. Mm -hmm. No, you just put bring the people. I think what is impressive is the leadership and the contribution. I mean, it, you don't hear a lot that leaders that they have full-time jobs are going to, you know, make time for this. Mm -hmm. 
and then put it together in a short period of time and mm -hmm. do it well because mm -hmm. it is happening. Yeah. So I think uh, it's beautiful what you guys are doing it. Don't change, keep doing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, these wonderful ladies, they're going to send us information and you can share that information about more about the organization, how to get involved or how to learn about it mm -hmm. to we need to know what's going on in South Oma, right? And with the leaders. And so I think it's important that people understand because sometimes we watch the news, but we don't understand. Yeah. So you guys will share that information. We put it in. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you for being here. Absolutely. We'll see thank you, you again. for having us. Yes. <laughs> see you guys again because I need to get you guys' stories. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hola, hola, bienvenidos a nuestro show de Yuridia Oner. Gracias por estar aquí y no se olviden de suscribirse y compartir este show a todos sus amigos porque está bueno. El día de hoy tenemos a una gran amiga, gracias por estar aquí, Ale, <risa> que es nuestra amiga de Entre Amigas, que les vamos a mandar la invitación ahí para que se, se unan al nuevo show que es privado para mujeres, ¿no? Pero con este mes de la mujer, pues obviamente que gracias por estar aquí en, en nuestro otro programa y que nos compartas porque ahorita está la noticia eso del plan del sur de Omaha y muchos no sabemos exactamente qué es lo que es o no entendemos el proceso, entonces por eso es, te invitamos para que nos expliques qué es este programa de latino, se llama, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, es o, o LEDC. Cómo. So LEDC es uh, Latino Economic Development Council. Okay. Um, fue, esta organización es un 501c3, es una organización caritativa, uh -huh. este fue hecho, pues fue formada el año pasado. Tenemos y para, poquito. Tenemos poquito, pero uh -huh. hemos hecho mucho um, uh -huh. en grupo y tenemos al, al board ejecutivo uh -huh. um, que está Itzel, Armando, uh, Salgado, este Nayeli, uh -huh. um, Marcos Mora, este Yesenia Valenzuela y um, quién más. Bueno, Alguien más, ahí vamos a poner los, los ahí demás. Vamos a poner César y esta Cristal, pero okay. yo estoy en el comité um, y en el comité ya somos muchos más. Uh -huh. um, básicamente somos diferentes líderes en la comunidad latinos um, y nos formamos porque que, queríamos básicamente que fondos que el gobierno da um, para que pueda hacer diferentes, ¿cómo se dice? Developments. Um, Como, pues sí que es que... No sé. Ya para que formen la, o sea, para que se pudiera, para que básicamente fundaran uh, la, los diferentes uh, developments que se van a hacer en South Omaha. Okay. Um, empezamos con el bill que se introdució el año pasado, LB10, LB110. Okay. Um, y ya después de eso, um, alocaron cierta cantidad. So ahora se pasaron otros biles que después vamos a compartir con mm -hmm. el público. Uh, pa también para que apoyen y manden cartas al, a los senadores para que, eh, o sea, miren la necesidad de, de que necesitamos mejorar el sur de Omaha, ¿no? Oh, okay. uh, pero básicamente parte de eso, de esa reconstrucción es un, vamos a, a ¿cómo se dice? Revitalize. ¿Cómo revivir? Cómo revivir la Plaza La Raza, okay. o sea, va a ser un parque más bonito, va a ser un lugar donde podemos tener conciertos um, y no solo eso, o sea, va a ayudar la economía del sur de Omaha también. Sí, porque obviamente, pues, uh, nosotros, la comunidad latina, somos fuertes, ¿verdad? Sí. Con poquito crecemos, pero sí hace falta, especialmente cuando veo otras comunidades que están creciendo y a veces uno se queda, pues, aquí el de sur de Omaha está igual, o sea, uh -huh. queremos un cambio. Sí se requiere como un lugar, como un centro de de pues de reunión, ¿no? Como una placita, eso es lo que van a hacer, porque miré unas fotos y dije yo, "What? Eso se va a hacer porque si viene el estacionamiento, un parque, un kiosco, ese es el plan, es la sí. propuesta entonces." Uh -huh. Entonces, ustedes como grupo se juntaron y dicen, "Vamos a representar el sur de Omaha para que ustedes sean la voz y vayan ahí al gobierno a pedir estos pues propuestas de leyes, ¿no? Los sí. biles. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que hacen. Es hace. exactamente lo que hacemos. Oh, ok. Ya, okay. y este, todavía estamos esperando qué son los proyectos que van a, van a pasar. Uh -huh. O sea, los biles, parte de los biles y podemos, otra vez mandamos esa información de cómo trabaja todo eso. Sí. Um, pero parte de eso, ellos nos van a decir como para de aquí al verano, 
um, qué son los proyectos que, que van a fundar y, y qué podemos hacer. Entonces, de aquí al verano se va a saber la noticia. Sí. Ah, entonces sí. para que cuando sepan nos avisan, entonces sí. para anunciarlo y la gente sepa qué es lo que se aprobó, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Y ya una vez sabiendo qué es lo que se aprobó, ya se sabe qué van a hacer y cuánto tiempo se va a hacer, sí. se va a tardar todo eso. Sí, ya Entonces, tenemos... Surdeo Maja va a estar en reconstrucción. Oh, sí, oh, sí, va a haber mucha construcción, pero va a va ser a... para mejorar. Para el bien, uh -huh. sí, qué bueno, qué bueno. ¿Hay algún anuncio tú que quieras anunciar a las personas que de este, cómo involucrarse o qué necesitan? O sea, porque pues esto es como de comunidad, ¿no? Claro que sí. Uh -huh. Pues nosotros cuando hagamos anuncios de que necesitamos que la comunidad nos apoye, uh -huh. este sería muy bonito que más gente pudiera escribir cartas a los senadores y podemos, okay. te mando la información para que okay. sepan cómo hacerlo. Um, y de verdad es explicar de por qué es, te, se necesita cambiar el sur de Omaha, o sea, por qué necesitamos esas renovaciones. Uh, que es muy importante porque si no escuchan de la comunidad, no van a saber lo que es, por qué se necesita. Sí, al final del día son uh -huh. números, ¿no? Como sí. porque si nadie dice nada, pues no vamos a hacer nada. Uh -huh. Entonces, es una forma de apoyarse hacer cartas, dices esto? Sí, escribir cartas. Um, ya fueron al, al Lincoln um, okay. para hablar de acerca de eso. Um, tal vez va a haber más sesiones en el futuro, pero... Uh, por ahorita las cartas son súper importantes. Um, okay. Pues y, ahí me pasa la información y sí. así yo les ayudo a la gente a llenar las cartas. ¿Verdad que sí? <risa> <risa> Pero es solo eso y si se quieren involucrar en lo que es el EDC, y no uh -huh. tenemos, somos, pueden contactar a mí, contactarme a mí o a Nayeli uh -huh. o a Itze López, este, o sea, somos, somos varios, así que. ¿Y es puro, es solamente voluntario? Sí. ¿Y cómo sí. le hacen? Pues este, todos nosotros tenemos nuestros trabajos este durante el día, pero somos todos voluntarios. Sí. Uh, pero porque es, reconocemos que queremos un sur de Omaha más bonito, o sea, más que sea, que crezca económicamente sí. uh, para todos, porque si está creciendo económicamente, todos los negocios, o sea, les va mejor um, y podemos... Sí, que sea como turismo también, que no nada más sea el 5 de mayo, ¿verdad? Sí. Porque lo que estábamos hablando es de que si tú no vives en el sur de Omaha, ¿para qué vas a ir al sur de Omaha? Uh -huh. Yo voy, yo no vivo en el sur de Omaha, pero yo voy seguido por la comida, la música. Y yo llego al sur de Omaha hasta le subo volumen a mi auto. <risa> Se te sientes en casa, <risa> en casa, te sientes una comunidad. Y a mí me da mucha felicidad que estén haciendo esto porque hay que aportar sí. a la comunidad, no nomás porque no vivas ahí, si vives o no vives, o sea, que es, es, que es como, te da nostalgia a veces, pero se siente bonito que vayas allá a la Michoacana o que vayas a, a comerte un taquito sí. o algo, ¿no? Y o para los tiendas. niños, sí. o a las tiendas las que tiendas. estamos hablando, ¿no? <ríe> <ríe> que incluso para... Me acuerdo que para la boda, yo iba a otras tiendas y está como medio aburrido, pero para la ropa, al sur, al de, sur Omaha. de Omaha. Zapatos, al sur de uh -huh. Omaha. Entonces hay que apoyar a esos negocios porque son negocios de familias, oh, sí. locales. Uh -huh. Entonces el dinero se queda aquí. Es, yo pienso que uno tiene que ser más consciente ahora cuando compras algo porque ya estás portando a la comunidad, a una familia, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y eso es lo que ustedes están, ustedes están sí. representando a la comunidad latina, entonces, claro que en sí. general. Pues qué bueno, sí. Alejandra, que no cambien, <risa> eres una chingona. Después vamos a tener aquí a Alejandra para que nos hable nada más específicamente de ti, ¿ok? Ah, okay. <risa> bueno, pues muchas gracias por estar aquí. No sé si tienes algún anuncio o ya que nos pones la información y, y ahí todo yeah, no puede. Y si alguien quiere estar involucrado en esta organización, que te manden mensaje a ti y ya sí, tú y ya los, los, conectamos. Puedes, los conectas. Uh -huh. Muy bien. ¿Qué tipo de personas pueden ser voluntarias aquí o, o qué? Mira, yo te diría que, o sea, si tienen ese, ¿cómo se dice? Um, pasión. Sí, es, ándale, ándale. <risa> <risa> si tienen no solamente la pasión de, de, de querer ayudar a, a la comunidad latina, Ajá. a su gente, este o sea, con eso... Um, especialmente si tienen, o sea, una voz en, el, en donde trabajan o en la comunidad, o sea, especialmente de esa forma, porque así es como 
podemos involucrar a, a más gente, ¿no? Sí. Um, pero ya, si tienen la pasión en ayudar a, a la comunidad, pues es lo, lo que se necesita. Es lo único que se necesita, yeah. las ganas. Las ganas. Ok. Bueno, pues ya escucharon. Aquí ya está Alex y nos vamos a seguir viendo. <risa> sí. Muchas gracias, Alex. Nos vemos. Adiós. Thank you. Adiós. That's it. Nada más.